All right, today is the day. We are talking all about the DAT. here. My name is Gajal Katri. I'm a senior at Marquette University and I just got into dental school and I'll also be explaining and announcing where I'm going to dental school really, really soon. I know I haven't announced it on social media. A lot of people might be able to guess, but I will be coming out with that announcement really, really soon. But I thought I would start out. I haven't actually made any DAT videos since creating this channel. I wanted to kind of get out my application videos first, especially because the application does open open up next week already, which is kind of crazy. And so I wanted to get all my application videos out first. And now I'm going to kind of delve into a little bit more of the DAT. This is exactly when I actually started studying for the DAT two years ago. So it's kind of crazy that like here I am on the other side already accepted into dental school and telling other people my tips on the DAT. So I figured the best place to start when talking about the DAT is just simply what is the DAT? Because I know a lot, I mean, especially me even, like when I began my pre-dental journey and I decided that I wanted to go into dentistry, it's not really like a clear outline of like, okay, what all do you need to have to like get into dental school? Like there's not, not really a resource out there that tells you everything. And so I figured that it would be helpful to just explain what the DAT is, why it's important, what's on it, how much it costs, all of that stuff to kind of just give you a brief overview of what the DAT is. Then in upcoming videos, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into every single topic within the DAT, talk about how I studied for each one, how I approach different questions, um, especially with the PAT, knowing that stuff and just how to approach each type of question. Also going through different resources. So there'll be a lot of DAT content coming up, but I wanted to start just with what is the DAT. So completely simply put, the DAT is the exam that you must take in order to get into dental school. So just how you had to take the SAT or the ACT to get into college, our law school friends have to take the LSAT to get into law school, our medical school friends have to take the, med uh, the MCAT to get into medical school. Just like that, we have to take the DAT to get into dental school. And the DAT stands for Dental Admissions Test. So DAT, Dental Admissions Test, sometimes you'll hear it called the DAT. Um, um, which is kind of fun. So yeah, so that is simply what the DAT is. The DAT is offered in every single United States territory and state, and then it's also administered in Canada. And they're all administered by this company called Prometric. So Prometric is a testing site and they basically just administer tests through all different disciplines. So, you know, when I went to the DAT and I was actually taking my exam, I was talking to a few other people there and like one girl was taking a nursing exam and another guy was taking a business exam. So we were all taking the exam in the same room at the same time, but everyone has their own exam that they're taking. So there are four sections of the DAT. This includes survey of the natural sciences, perceptual ability, reading comprehension, and quantitative reasoning. So going a little bit more in depth through all of those and kind of just explaining what they are. So survey of the natural sciences is gonna include general biology, general chemistry, and organic chemistry. So for general biology, that's, you know, bio one and two. So going through, I have some notes here, of course, but going through things like, you know, the cycle of life, um, photosynthesis, genetics, things like that. Um, when we go into general chemistry, that's going to include stoichiometry, um, states of matter, so solid liquid gas, gas laws are on there, acid-base chemistry, stuff like that. And then, of course, with organic chemistry, you're going to have to know mechanisms, you're going to have to know um, different like properties and physical and chemical properties of things, and you're also, that also includes acid-base chemistry, and then like aromatics, bonding, stuff like that. 
Then you go into perceptual ability. There are six sections within the perceptual ability, and this actually tests how you can imagine things in your head. So I guess my example here is that as a dentist, this is a really important skill to have because a dentist might look in someone's mouth and be looking in a mirror. You have to remember that that's a mirror image and you have to be able to flip that within your mind. And so this is what this is testing because you have to have a really good kind of spatial ability and perceptual ability. So the six sections on here, I'm going to go through them one at a time. So the first one is keyholes. And there's, okay, so I should have said that there's 15 questions of each type of question. So the first one is keyholes, and I'm going to put an example on the screen here, but they're going to give you this 3D object and you have to say which hole it would be able to fit straight through it. The second one is going to be top front end. So they're going to give you an image and they're going to give you maybe the top view and the front view and you have to say what the side view is. Or maybe they'll give you the front view and the end view and you have to say what the top view is. And you'll see that there are different lines. There are solid lines, dotted lines, um, different things like that. And you will learn as you're studying for the DAT what those different lines mean as well. The next thing is angle ranking. So in angle ranking, they're gonna give you four different angles, all within three to six degrees of each other, and you have to rank them from smallest to largest. I know this sounds really simple, but this is actually the part that I struggled with the most because they are so close. They are within three to six degrees of each other. So it's really difficult to know like which one's the biggest and which one's the smallest. The next thing is hole punching. So they're gonna actually fold a piece of paper on the screen, punch a few holes in it, and then you have to say where the holes are gonna be when they unfold it. Next is cube counting. So this is when you kind of, they give you this 3D object with a ton of cubes and you kind of have to imagine that, okay, if you were to throw some paint onto this um, object, how many sides would be painted? Um, so they're gonna ask you, you know, in this image, how many cubes are showing five sides or four sides or three sides, something like that. Next is gonna be pattern folding. So they're actually gonna give you, this kind of reminds me of like, you know, in elementary school when you were learning geometry and they would have you cut out like the outline of a cube and then you have to use tape and the paper to create that cube and they'll give you that outline of it. So just like that, they're actually gonna give you an outline similar to the cube in elementary school and you have to say what the 3D image is gonna look like. So those are the six sections of the PAT um, or the perceptual ability test. Next is gonna be reading comprehension. This is gonna be exactly like your ACT, SAT, where they're gonna give you a passage and you just have to answer a ton of questions about it. And then lastly, you're gonna to come to your quantitative reasoning section, which is your math section. So that's gonna include things like algebra and like probability, statistics, things like that. Pretty low level math, you, there's no calc on it really, but it's still important to work on this section, make sure that you do well on it. All right, so now going through how much time you have to take each part of the exam. So first things first, you're going, and I'm gonna include a screenshot here from the 2021 guide, but first you're gonna have an optional tutorial. I'm pretty sure I skipped this because it is optional, but if you need some time to decompress, you have 15 minutes to take it. Then you have the survey of natural sciences, which you have 90 minutes to take. So this includes your bio, chem, and ochem, but you can split the 90 minutes however you want. You don't have to spend 30 minutes on each one. You could maybe do 20, 20, and 50, like however you want to do it, you can split it up by yourself. Then you're going to have perceptual ability, which you will have 60 minutes to complete. And again, that's 90 questions, 60 minutes. It's all six of those different sections, all within 60 minutes. So you split up the time however you want to split the time. Then you have an optional break, and that is the only time that you can actually have a break. I remember I just went out and I ate a granola bar because I was kind of hungry. I just like, you know, really decompressed. I know I studied through DAT Bootcamp, and I remember um, Ari, the guy who kind of created DAT Bootcamp, he recommends always taking a toothbrush with you because as dentists, we are like, you know, something small stuck in your tooth is really going to bother you. So take a toothbrush with you do whatever you want to do but you have 15 minutes um or sorry you have 30 minutes to take a break then 
And then you have your reading comprehension test, which you have 60 minutes to complete, so a whole hour. And then you have the quantitative reasoning test, which is your math section, and that you have 45 minutes to take. And then there is an optional survey at the end. Again, I'm pretty sure I skipped this, but if you need time to decompress before seeing your score, take time, take that 30 or that 15 minutes to take that survey, or just like sit there and like breathe. Um, and then when you hit submit, you will get your score right away because it is computerized. So altogether, it is about five hours to take this exam. So it is a long exam. You will get through it. Just take a deep breath. It'll be fine. <laughs> Now let's talk about scoring. So overall, the entire DAT is scored on a scale from one to 30. So one being the worst score you can get and 30 being the best, most perfect score you could ever have. And if you're wondering kind of what's competitive, what's not, what's a good DAT score, what's not, I think a really, really good resource is the Kaplan resource. I'll have it linked down below, but they kind of break it down into, okay, this is a really extremely competitive score. This is a competitive score. This is a good score. This is like below average scores. So they do a really good job of breaking that down. I'll definitely have it linked down below. When you actually submit your DAT, you will get a ton of numbers. It's kind of overwhelming. But the first thing you'll see is your academic average, which is the score that all dental schools report. So if you were to ask a school, hey, you know, what's your average DAT score? That's the score that they're reporting, their academic average. And the academic average is an average sort of of everything except for perceptual ability. It's not an exact average. I don't know exactly how they calculate it, but it is an accumulation of all of the scores except for perceptual ability. On top of that, you will also get a separate perceptual ability score, which a lot of schools will report as well. You'll also get an individual biology, chemistry, organic chemistry, quantitative reasoning, and reading comprehension score. And then you will also get a separate score for your survey of natural sciences, which just includes bio, general chemistry, and organic chemistry. So unfortunately, it does cost a lot of money to take the DAT. So that's why a lot of people really try to study so hard for the first one because you don't want to take it again because it's expensive. If you do have to take it again, it's not the end of the world, you take it again. But, so um, according to the 2021, I'm sure these numbers will fluctuate within the next few years, but right now in 2021, it is $495 to take the exam. And then it's $45 per score report that you send to schools. Now, a pro tip here is that before you take the DAT, it'll ask you if you wanna uh, send your scores to any schools. If you send them during your DAT, it's free. Afterwards, you do have to pay $45 per school. So pro tip here is that just select all of them before you take your DAT. That way you don't even have to worry about, oh, like, you know, have I sent it to this school or whatnot. If you feel confident enough, just send it to all of them because it'll be free. You won't have to spend $45 per school. Um, some other costs that are involved. So there's a $65 fee for a score audit, which means that your score will not count. Um, and then there's also a $125 fee to extend your DAT. And then there are also cancellation fees. So this is again why it's so important to make sure that you're really prepared for your DAT because the score or the fees for canceling get higher as you get closer to your DAT. So it's only $25 if you cancel more than 30 days before your DAT, but it's $125 to cancel if you cancel like one to four days before your exam. So it's really expensive. Just try to prepare. Hopefully you only have to spend that $495, not spend any of this other money, but there are a lot of fees that are involved with this as well. But yeah, so that is all I have for you guys today. As I said, I will be making more videos on DAT, I promise. I will make more in-depth videos talking about how I studied, how I approach things, everything. And if you're taking the DAT in the meantime, feel free to DM me, feel free to leave comments down below. I am always answering questions, so don't be afraid to reach out. And of course, if you're taking the DAT, good luck. You got this. You'll just, you'll be fine. Don't worry too much. Just take it a day at a time. It's a process. We've all been through it. And remember that we're all here to help you as well. 
So yeah, that is all I have for you today. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. See you next time. Bye.